Uh, yo, hello, I, we're here, perfect. Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. I had no idea what was going on there. Uh, uh stuttering, stu stuttering, um, whatever. Stuttering recording system. Anyway, here we go. We are going back into the world. Yes, let that load. Um, let's look at the lineup for today. For this m random Minecraft blah blah. Uh, I've got two new music. Uh, this is what I'm going to do every week. Because there's such good music coming out right now on both pop and alternative stations, I'm going to be doing two songs a week that I think are awesome. So, yeah, so I've got those two planned for you. We've got the plan for this video, which is build the base of our lobby, which is going to span... Oh, God, that villager is going to die. Uh, well, that's not going to help you. There's no door there. Yeah, you're going to have to come over into a safe one. Uh-oh. That guy might die. Uh, so we need to build the base there. Um, I, uh, I have a surprise topic, and that'll be the third one. And then um, a new series will be debuting. So let's get started here, ladies and gentlemen, with the music of the week. Oh, yeah, we do have a baby chicken. I totally forgot. Um, uh, uh, hey, you. I can't sleep with you banging on the doors, yeah? All right, so is that it? Is that it? Can I sleep now? Perfect. Um, so there's two new songs this week, and there's going to be two new songs next week. At some point, you will no longer be able to see the screen. You'll be seeing two links. Go ahead and use those. I'll also put them in the info box, so if you miss it on screen, you'll see them there. Uh, and basically what you're going to want to do is follow those links, uh, because your ears like music. Don't your ears like listening to good music? Aren't you friends with music? Well, you should become friends with music. Yes, I'm stealing that gimmick from my wrestling podcast uh, because I deserve to. Uh, <laughs> no, um, but yes, aren't you friends with music? You should be. So the first song, the top one, is going to be the Plain White Tees, The Giving Tree. Now, this song I especially like. Oh, you mother... Oh. That's okay. What was... <laughs> hey! Why didn't you warn me? What is your deal, man? Damn it. That's okay, because I kind of wanted it to blow up the top anyway. Not really the top. <sighs> what, what kind of damage did that do? Not a whole lot there. Alright, and then... Okay, so if that's going to be the entrance, and I want it to expand out this way... Hmm. Alright. Um, okay, so next time we'll I'll do some grass cutting. This time I'm going to fix the lobby. But anyway, as I was saying, why would I like something from the Plain White Tees? Well, let's go into the history of the Plain White Tees right now. The history of the Plain White Tees. They came out with Hey There Delilah, like probably 2005 or so. And the song was pretty good until it got really irritating to listen to because it was overplayed. And not only was it overplayed, everybody and their mother wanted to do a parody of it. So it got really irritating to listen to that song. Uh, let's see, how can I fix this? Maybe I'll do some lettering in there. But what would the lettering be? This is the lobby to my mansion, so maybe I'll do like an insignia or something, like a G. I don't know, so if I did do that... Hmm. Um, so yeah, so th their old song, Plain White Tees, of Hey There Delilah, got really irritating. And I didn't really enjoy it too much after that because it was really irritating. You know what? I might just start over here. Look at how uneven this shit is. Let's get rid of the door. Let's get rid of this whole front wall. We'll fix it all. I need to get some tools first here. Um, so yes, that, that song wasn't all that great. But then they came out with another song called One, Two, Three, Four, Blah, Blah, Blah. And it was all about love. And I didn't like that song either. Um, I thought that song was much more irritating than Hey There, Delilah. And it was, but, you know, at least they did something different or new. So that's that's cool, I guess, whatever. Uh, and then they go away for a long time. They've, they've been gone for quite some time. How do I not have those? Oh, there we go. Um, so they've been gone for a long time. And then they came out with a song... Let's see, well, it wasn't one, two, three, it wasn't hey there, delight. It was um 
Oh, shoot, I forgot it. But it was a pretty marginally accepted song. It was all right. It wasn't great, but it was all right. And then I'm listening on the radio, and I hear this song called The Giving Tree, and that's the one you've either already listened to it, or you're going to listen to it after I'm done talking, and uh, or you're not going to listen to it at all, and this is just a stupid conversation. But whatever. Um, if you're not going to listen to it, cool, fine. Just, you know, kind of zone out and watch me build this. Um, but if you are going to listen to it, I highly do recommend it because it's a great song. And it's, it's actually funny because from what I can gather, it's about a, a guy who has a girlfriend. And he knows that he loves this girlfriend, but he also knows that his girlfriend's cheating on him with some other dude. So he's talking in the, pretty much the whole song about how he loves this girl. And I couldn't help but remember, hey, is this Delilah, the same chick who... You know, did she screw you over or something? What's going on here? Why are you mad at... Is, is it Delilah, the same person? So I don't know. I was I, I just kind of thought that that was, you know, interesting. Is it, hey there, Delilah? Is that the one who's screwing you over? It's kind of sad. But, you know, <laughs> poor, hey there, uh, poor guy who liked, hey there, Delilah. All right, let's see. So should I do that? Maybe I should do that for the... Well... I kind of want to be stylish. I've never been stylish before. Never have I ever been stylish before. So, let's kind of be stylish here. Boom. Boom. How would that look, like, all the way up? For the lobby. I think that would look pretty good. And if I kept these in the middle, so you would have to go. Uh, so, yeah. So, that song is really, really good, and I do recommend you to listen to it. And then on top here, I won't have anything. But here I want to replace with stone. So, do I have enough? I do not. Didn't, did I? I think I was making some, though. Um, so the second song. Let's move right on to the second song. We're already five minutes in here. Second song is a song by Daughtry. Didn't really think that that would be a song, now did you? Well, it is, because it's a really, really good song. And if you've already guessed it, well done for you. But many people probably have not, because, you know, a lot of people probably don't like Daughtry. And, uh, that's fine, because Daughtry, I will agree, has been very repetitive in their musical stylings. But this song was very good. It had very good lyricism. And, uh, I found it to be very, very interesting. So basically, this song is called Waiting for Superman. And it's all about pretty much, uh, the music video really gives you a different story, but when, it, when I listen to just the lyrics, I mean, you could, you could play it off as a lot of different things, and some of the different things I was toying with was, okay, so is, it's Superman's girlfriend, and she is a little upset, a little perturbed, that Superman is never, it's kind of like that Spider-Man storyline they were going for a while back. When it was, uh, you know, Peter Parker was always busy fighting crime, so he missed the play and all that stuff. And, you know, it's kind of tragically sad, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the Ginger King logo in here with gold or something. I need to go find gold, and we'll put a big gold G right there. So I'll leave that open. Um, so, yeah, it's a really sad song, and I recommend you to check that one out as well. You can do it now or later, either way. I'll let you, those who want to leave go ahead and do so. Listen to the song. Listen to the lyrics. Focus. Yeah, good. Okay, so now... This song I especially like because it's not really irritating or annoying. The vocals are great. Daughtry did a great job with that. And, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was a really cool song. And the lyricism in it, waiting for Superman, learning to fly, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, if you're a nerd and you like Superman-y stuff, that's, it's, it's kind of a perfect song. So, those are my two favorite songs of the week. You guys let me know what you think of those. And, uh, I don't know, give me some, some, some maybe suggestions of next week's songs, because I really only listen to Alternative, and, uh... I only listen to Alternative, and I'm going to need some wood here. Let's get rid of this. Well, we don't want to get rid of all of it, but there we go. Perfect. Um, I, I do only listen to Alternative, and country sometimes, not a whole lot, and pop music at work. So let me know if you guys think that I should be getting any other songs in there, or any other like indie songs. I don't know. So you send them to me. I'll review them. We have Leather. Sweet, so we could wear pants. 
And uh, I came in here to get what? Damn it. What did I come in here to get? Stairs. I was going to make stairs. Okay, now that being said, we're moving on. Uh, plan of the bi video, base the lobby. Perfect. So we, we're basically doing that. I hope I didn't just make stone stairs just now with those. I didn't. Okay, good. Wonderful. Alright, so we got some stone there. And we can make some gravel staircase. Or stone staircases. We need to go get some more stone. Or we might have enough staircases. Who knows? We, we only have four, so I guess that's cool. If I chop this up, will it be a staircase? Sweet. Hmm. I'll just... I'll probably just demolish this somehow and make a huge gate. Or maybe I'll keep it there and it'll be like a guardhouse. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Oh, this creative stuff is different, isn't it? Um, so the next topic, jury duty. Oh, boy, do I have a story for you this week, ladies and gentlemen. Or one-off. I need another stair. I'm stealing someone's stair. You know what? Well, that's what I'll do. There you go. We we don't need that. So you guys, you guys take it. Oh. Yeah, we don't need we don't need the stairs cuz oh see I think he just actually went in there. So, perfect. Uh-oh, it's almost getting dark again. Um so yes, I got I got called to jury duty today. That was interesting and and kind of fun. And <laughs> not so fun, but it, it kind of sucks because my manager is not going to be too happy with me. Um, because we got a lot of people going out of work the week before Christmas. They thought that it would be safe, but I got called to jury duty, so now no one's able to work. It's it's not going to be a fun, a very fun week for me, and I don't know how much videos I'll be able to put up. I'll probably either be able to put up more videos or less videos, depending on how this jury duty goes. Uh, oh, 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 I'm trying to hurry here. Because it is nighttime, and I don't want a creeper messing up the stuff. It's getting to be nighttime. Alright, 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 alright. I'm going, I'm going. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, this is risky. Oh, it's so risky. Oh, go, 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 go. And uh, so I'm going to actually, while, while we're sleeping here, I'm going to read to you some of the parameters that entailed jury duty. Alright, so let's get the sword out. We'll be ready to go if any scrubs come after us. So let's see here. Jury duty. It's got my summons. It's got my number. All that fun stuff. There's some fun stuff I wanted to talk about on this. It says, um... Alright, I'm number 144. I guess I probably shouldn't have said that unless one of you people... Oh, should I... Well, I just gave out the wrong number anyway. So... <laughs> If you're one of the defendants and you think I'm the jury member and you're coming to kill me, you're killing the wrong person because I am not what I just said I was. <laughs> oh, I've just killed the wrong person. I'm so sorry, other person. Alright, does that look pretty good? I don't know. Maybe I'll replace all of this with stone. Whoops. Stone's pretty hard to make, though. Alright, so let's read some of this jury duty note here. It does say, now be a, a quick reminder, <laughs> you will have to go through some airport security type, yeah, it looks better, it's airport security type <laughs> security. So please do not bring any guns, knives, weapons of any sort to the jury duty. R I would think that that'd be a given, right? I, I, I would think that you don't really have to tell me that because I don't own really any weapons. Like, I, I own a machete, but it's really rusty, and I don't think it'll be much use against your guard's guns. Um, and I'm certainly not going to bring it with me, so I don't know how much of a use that was, but okay, wh whatever. Um, and then it says here, expect to wait, consider bringing a book or a magazine. Right, okay, and then it says, business attire is what you should be wearing. And... I don't own any business attire at all, so what's a guy supposed to do? If I don't own business attire, am I 
not allowed in. I don't own good clothes. I'm like the 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 hobo of the middle class. <laughs> I don't even think I I'm considered middle class cuz I make just enough money to pay bills and that's about it. So I think I'm lower class, but I'm not that lower class that's super poor. Ugh, so I don't know. This jury duty is going to be a pain in the ass. Yet, the other half of me, good Derek, says, you know what, yeah, let's go in there. We could dress up as Batman, you know, serve the injustice that might happen. All that f sort of fun stuff. And, you know, evil Derek just doesn't want to deal with it at all. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'll explain a little more about that probably in a week and a half, two weeks if I do another Minecraft blah blah between then. <laughs> so yeah, I got called to jury duty. That should be fun. Should be great. Um, last thing on the list. I, I just threw it, by the way. Oh, new series. Perfect. Um, new series, but kind of a reboot of a series I did in about March, February, March, maybe? One of those days. And uh, it was a pretty good series in my book. Um, and it's a series I'm going to try again with some of the new subscribers because I think it's one of the most solid games I've ever played in my life. It's a game that I think I would, if, if I were given a choice, I could play it for hours on end. Um, it, to be totally honest, if the jury duty place had hookups like a TV, you know, and, and a couple of, uh, you know, outlets, I would bring that game and I would play it in the lobby of that to wait out the time that I'm going to have to be waiting <laughs> So that's what I would do. Uh, this game is called Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8. I am bringing it back because it just it just deserves a little more time on my channel. Alright, so here's the parameters here. We want to do the G. Three wide. Yeah, don't get stuck here, guy. Three down. Um, and if you don't know what... Uh, the Three Kingdoms is, I would recommend googling it, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8, and uh, trying to check it out, see what it's all about, and see if you're uh, good to go. I think I might put some sand there in the meantime, just to, let's see, yeah, we don't really need the map, just to, uh, you know, because I'm not going to get gold for a little while here. And a lot of you are probably new to this series, and you're saying, why isn't he cheating? Why isn't he using creative mode? I feel like creative mode is too much of cheating, but I feel like me being able to fly back and forth just makes it entertaining a little bit more for you. I wouldn't want you to see me walking and talking for the hour that I am doing this. So, so let's see if that would look good there. Um, Maybe if I... Whoops. Let's see, if I move this over, and I kill that, and I kill this whole row, and I move them over, Let's see, and I make it four wide. Let's see if that'll work better. Uh. It still kind of looks stupid. Well, it has to go down more, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's try this. I don't think I really needed to get rid of those ones. I don't know why I did. I think that's going to look a lot better. Um, but yes, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8 is going to be making a return, and, and basically what I'm going to be doing is filming that. Um, as soon as I film General Manager Mode for this week, that is when I'm going to be filming that. And that's just going to come out every three to four days or so. It's going to be kind of like my poker one. It's, it's just kind of a fun series just for me. And uh, we're just going to try to do a little more original stuff on my channel. And, you know, try to get rid of these popular games that everyone is doing. So now all I need to do is put the wall there, or extend this one. Alright, because it does need to be even, right? Or could I just make it bigger? Hmm, I don't know what looks better, to be totally honest. Huh, alright, well, 
we're moving here, and what I want to do is have this be the hallway. So this, we'll, we'll walk in, yeah? Walking in, oh, look at that big old G for Ginger King. This is going to be his mansion. This is going to be great. All right, so we're still walking, all right? And then maybe we have some stairs up here into a corridor, more stairs up here into another corridor, and then that's where we're going to build our castle on this thin piece of place, and it's going to be straight up, so there's going to be a lot of floors, and then I'll be able to look down upon my, my people, um, well, my two houses right there, and, you know, and then I've got my kingdoms, and uh, that's the plan, so I don't know how long it's going to take me, probably a whole year of Minecraft, blah, blah, so there you go. Uh, as a reminder, please let me know of the music that you want me to feature on Minecraft Blah Blah at the beginning, and I will do so. Uh, let me know what your opinions on this series are. Let me know if uh, you think I'm doing an alright job, or if I should maybe do something different. If my Minecraft skills are bad, let me know. All that fun stuff. Just let me know everything. You know? Let me know about your problems. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll feature it next episode. Like uh, we had a we had a person comment on the video last time, and uh, they said that they wanted a little dating advice. Well, I'm I'm here for you. So, uh, you know, all you got to do is let me know, and I will bring it up. So that being said, Derek D. Ginger King, checking out.